Good evening, Peter Hitchener. Hundreds of commuters were forced to jump onto tracks and walk after three busy train lines were shut down during peak hour this morning. Today's been an unusually bad day for us and I'm really sorry. A 44-year-old man who fired a nail gun at neighbouring properties is in hospital after a siege lasting more than 19 hours in Caulfield. The man surrendered to police and is being treated for head and chest wound. Two men have been arrested over the stabbing murder of an Australian travel agent in Thailand. Motorists are being urged to take advantage of low petrol prices unleaded dropping to as low as $1.19 a litre. Bottom line is if you're looking to fill up, fill up in the next couple of days because it's the cheapest fuel you're going to have on offer for another fortnight. There's been more turmoil at The Age, its editor-in-chief Paul Ramage resigning today. A man in his 70s has died after a crash involving a truck at Mount Eliza. The EPA has announced it's targeting noisy and smoky cars. That's what Australians report as the number one issue that most annoys them and ruins their local environment. MCG officials have admitted they overreacted to some spectators who gave Tom Scully a rowdy reception yesterday. Melbourne's paid a huge price for Sunday's win over Greater Western Sydney, losing star recruit Mitch Clark for the rest of the season with a broken foot. And a new footbridge connecting Amy Park with the MCG will be named after our first Olympian, Edwin Flack. Tomorrow at top of 13, it's 9 at the moment. See it first on 9 News with Peter Hitchner. Tomorrow at 6.